someone who, like me, who, who can do something and who has a choice to, and I feel like it's my obligation almost. I'm willing and able to fight, and why not fight for my country and you know, give a little back to something that I love so much. It came down to walking down to Ball State, or going to a smaller Division three school, you know, playing a lot. But, you know, I, I, like, I like to challenge, you know, I like, you know, people thinking I can't do something, you know, trying to prove them wrong. The so Ball State's been in my family. Uh, my dad went here, my mom. I have a lot of ties to this university, and, you know, I love everything about it. So I always wanted to go in the military. I knew, you know, for a long time. The Marines appealed to me in my freshman year in college here when um, I found out that you pass the Marine OCS, because it's the, one of the hardest trainings in, in the country for the officers that um, you get direct admit into flight school. And when he had the opportunity this summer to go and to train, it, to me it was a no-brainer because I think in the longevity and the service of our country, that's so much more important than just, hey, being here and training for eight weeks. You just learn the military life, discipline, and then you learn how to really lead, how to lead people, you know, how to, you know, find new ways of doing things, how to accomplish things that you never thought you could ever do. They have a really high attrition rate. Right? It's usually around one out of every four don't make it. It's a whole different training. You know, I thought with football training, you know, I thought I had to leg up on everybody, but I mean, it was completely different. I was probably one of the heaviest there at about 210. And here on the football team, you know, 210's nothing. It's pretty light. Sleep deprivation, you think you can handle it. You know, think you, oh, I've stayed up all nighters doing tests, but doing it every day for 10 straight weeks. You know, going to bed at you know, 10 o'clock at night, waking up at 3 a.m. every morning, you know, it takes a toll on your body. You really can't recover. But honestly, it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And looking back on it, I'm so glad I did it. Just kind of growing up, I've always, you know, having a no-quit attitude, walking on a football team. You know, everyone's gonna be either bigger, faster, stronger than you, and you just gotta say, you know, I'm not gonna quit no matter what. And there's kind of the same attitude. You know, I just told myself, I'm not gonna go home. The only way I'm gonna go home is if, you know, I break both my legs or they end up just making me go. Get the pro! Yo, set! Set! It makes you grow into a man, because you're there to lead people. And, you know, if you're goofing around, you're acting childish, you know, who's gonna follow that? I wanna be the guy who people look up to and say, follow that guy, he, he's got it going on. This is gonna walk up every three to five seconds as you need to. Yep, keep that Kevlar down. I graduated August 6th and a football camp started August 3rd. So I was home for just a, just about a day, you know, had the family, had a little welcome home party. And I went back straight to here actually. But the biggest thing I kind of felt with, um, you know, coming straight to football, I lost a bunch of weight, as you can imagine, running in, in boots and uniform the whole time. And then coming back here and trying to you know, take on 300 pound linemen is a lot different. He tries, he puts so much great effort into it. So I knew him coming back from uh, summer training and he was gonna put so much effort into it. The rest of the football season is for me to bring the younger guys along. As the season goes on and the, the seniors have less and less games left, um, the younger guys become more and more important. Going through the things that he's gone through in his training, he understands what it takes to pull other guys along to make sure they're doing the things that are right. Joining the military, you know, Officer Cannon School, going through that struggle. You know, in my future, I'm sure I'm going to be miserable plenty of times in some far off land. You know, and that's kind of like embrace it. You know, I embrace the grind. You know, I hate taking the easy way. I would rather take the difficult way and, you know, reap the benefits. When it comes to Peyton, he can put his mind in another place. Uh, he can do things physically uh, that maybe his body is telling him not to do, but his mind is telling him that he can do. After I graduate, I'll go back to Quantico, Virginia for uh, TBS, which is called the Basic School. And it's, uh, they call it the finest finishing school in, in the world. And I'll go there for six months and kind of finish up my skills. The sacrifice that people gave to my country, to the, to the wars they fought, you know, many times they were drafted into it. They didn't have a choice. And someone who, like me, who, who can do something and who has a choice to, and I feel like it's my obligation almost. I'm willing and able to fight, why not?
fight for my country and you know, to give a little back to something that I love so much. Thank <laughs> you.